So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this router down here because we're not using it yet. And I'm going to move our summary route tool over here for charting out our summary routes. So far we found two summary routes. We've got a summary route for these two networks over here. And we've got a summary route for these two networks over here. And now we're going to get this router into the action right here. Now this router, let's just take a quick look at it. It's got two Ethernet interfaces but no serial interfaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to install two serial interfaces into it and then I'll turn it back on and wait for this to boot up. What we're going to do is we are going to cable this right here. We'll make uh, this guy be the clock rate. So take that, make it the DCE. We'll attach it to the first serial interface and we'll attach it over here to the second serial interface over here. All right, and this router will be the clock. All right, and so we're going to configure, and this network that we're going to make between these two routers is going to be the 209.165.201.0 slash 30 network. Okay with the slash 30 network the networks go up by 4 because with slash 30 you basically have the subnet mask looks like this 255.255.255.252 and if we write this last 252 out in binary In binary, 252 looks like this, and the 1, this last 1 bit, is in the 4's place, so the networks go up by 4. So this is going to be uh, a network of only 4 hosts, and the network is the 0 network, and the broadcast address is 3, and there's only 2 hosts, 1 and 2. So, I'll delete this. We just need to configure for this for this network. So the first host will be on this router, second host will be on this router. So we'll do that. We'll do this router first. Go to the command line interface interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 and we'll give it the IP address IP address 209 dot one six five dot two oh one dot one two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five two hit enter no shutdown okay so that interface has been configured right here now we need to do this one right here so we'll open up this router and this router is R4 we will haven't used it yet. Enable. Conf T, short for configure terminal. And interface 000. zero, zero. So interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. IP address 209. And then the IP address. clock rate because it's the DCE and a no shutdown command and close it and now you can see that this interface is up and this network between these two routers is up now so now we're gonna put a static route on this router so that this router can talk to all four networks over here and we're gonna do it with a summary route now though we have a situation where we want to reach these four uh, networks, so we're going to have to create a, uh, a larger summary route, so to speak. So let's find out what is the summary route that we could use for all four of those. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'll go in here and I'll copy this, copy, and then I'll 
paste it in there and I'm going to change this so that it reflects all of the routes. Now this is the 64 network so I'm going to change this to 64 and this is the 66 network right 66 right and we have to of course change the the uh, binary to reflect that so there's 64 and now that's 66 but also we have this network in between these two routers if this router is going to talk to all of these um, networks there's one two three four but there's also this network right here that this router doesn't know about and that is the 71 network so I'm gonna put that in there too right so I'll just copy this and and we'll make that 71 here and then we'll change the binary accordingly so 64 plus 4 is 68 and then add 2 that's 70 and then that's 71 okay so now we have the five networks here 1 2 3 4 5 all listed here and we're going to use this to create a summary route so that this router can reach all of these networks but not more so now just to say if we really wanted to generalize this route really easily what we could do is if we could just put a route a static route on this router that goes like this and says 173.16.0.0 slash 16 now what that would do is if we put in a summary route to this right on this router it would say hey all 173 16 networks go this way and this router would be able to ping or contact all of these hosts anybody that started with the with the first two octets of 173 16 so we could do that but it's not good practice because it's actually just the 64 network the 66 the 68 the 69 and the 71 so it's it's not really the full range so we want to do a more exact summary route and then beyond that this router here okay now has it has routes to these two networks in a summary route and it has these three connected routes but this router does not know about this network so we're also going to have to put in a static route on R2 to reach this network we don't have to put it on R1 because it's connected to this network here that we just added but we do have to put it on R2 so let's start with that okay so let's put the route static route on this router to get to this network here so we'll go to this router say enter enable configure terminal to get to there IP route to the 209.165.201.0 network and then the subnet mask and then we have to put in the next top router's IP address. Well, that is 173.16.71.5. So, 173.16.71.5. That's the next top router's IP address. And I'll just show you that really quickly. Next top IP for this router, if we're talking about this router, the next top IP address is the IP address of this router's serial interface right here. So we've got a static route in here. Now we need to figure out the summary route to reach all of these networks over here for this router. We've got them listed out here in binary so we can figure out what they are. What, is, what, is, what do they have in common, right? What do they have in common? Well, the route that they have in common is they all have 173 in common, they all have 16 in common, and they all have 64 in common and they have so that's the IP address right there now the important part is the subnet mask range so they have 8 bits 16 bits in common 17 18 19 20 21 17 18 19 20 21 bits in common so slash 21 which is a magic number of 8 place value is 8 so this summary route if we put in this summary route on this router right here right if we put this summary route in here it'll cover networks 64 
to 71. And let's try it. So open up this router here and we'll hit enter. It's a 64 and it's a slash 21 that we want to put in there. Okay. And we'll type enable. And now we want to have slash 21, right? Let 21 would be 248. So 255.255.248.0. I believe that's right. And then the next top IP address, which is going to be 209.165.201.1. 209.165, stretch this out, dot dot one. So there's the static route. There is the summary route anything that starts with a 173.16.64 up into 71.255 so that should work so now if we do a control C and we could try to ping some of the hosts on the network like 68.2 which is the host right here you can see that it was successful. Right? We can also ping 69.2, which is this host right here on the 69 network. And you can see we can reach that. Over here we've got 64 and 66. So let's try to reach 64.2, and we can. And 66.2, which is this host right here. And you can see that this router can now ping all of these hosts over here and it has with just one summary route.